Let's look at how we deal with the situation when we've got constants and variables on both sides of the equation. So in a general mathematical kind of way of writing that, we'd say something like ax plus b is equal to cx plus d, where a, b, c, and d are all constants, and x is the variable that we're solving for. Now remember, again, just like in all the other cases, we're trying to get x equals something, where something would be some number or constant. So we're going to try to rearrange this equation using mathematical operations and end up with x equals something. Okay, let's look at something specific. Let's say we've got 3x minus 4 is equal to 5x plus 8. Now you can see this fits that general form. We've got 3 is a and minus 4 for b, 5 for c and 8 for d. What are we going to do? Well, the problem with this one is we've got x on both sides. In addition to having some uh, added numbers on the ends and some multipliers at the front of the x's. So we've got an added step that we've got to deal with. It's probably going to deal with itself though. So let's see what we can do. The first thing I want to do is try to get rid of these minus fours or plus eights. Then I've got to think, well, which side am I going to take it to? I normally take it to the side with the X on it, but here I've got X on both sides. So I stop for a minute and I'm deciding now that I actually want to get all the X's on one side right from the start. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is transfer, somehow, the 5x over to the left side. So how do I do that? If I want to transfer it across to the left, I need to subtract it from both sides, basically. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 3x minus 4, just like I've got already, and I'm going to take away 5x. And the reason why I'm taking it away is because I want to get rid of it from the right side. So I've got 5x plus 8, and I'm going to take away 5x. So I've got the 5x taken away from both sides, so I've done the same thing to both sides, I haven't changed the equation in reality, just what it looks like. And then change what it looks like by getting rid of those two, because they cancel each other out. Plus 5x minus 5x gives me zero. So, moving down, I've now got 3x and minus 5x, I can combine those because they're sort of like terms. So 3x minus 5x leaves me with minus 2x. I've still got that minus 4 there I'll have to deal with in a minute. And on the other side, those have gone away and I'm just left with the 8. Now this is something we've seen before. So what we want to do, remember we're trying to get at the x by itself. I want to get rid of this minus 4, and I do that by adding 4 to both sides. So we get minus 2x minus 4 plus 4 equals, must do it to both sides, so 8 plus 4. Those are going to cancel each other out to give 0. And we got minus 2x is equal to 8 plus 4, of course, is 12. And our final step now, all we need to do is get rid of this constant multiplier out the front. And we always get rid of those by dividing by exactly the same number. So minus 2x, we're going to divide by minus 2, and the same on the right side, 12 divided by minus 2. Simplifying that one, of course, minus 2 divided by minus 2 is 1. So we can basically just knock those out, and we're left with 1x, or, as we always do, just write x by itself. On the right side, 12 divided by minus 2, well, 12 divided by uh, 2 is 6. We've just got a minus in there, so we're going to get x equal to minus 6. Okay, so there we have it. Our solution, x equals to something. The something is minus 6, and we've got it just like we wanted to see. x equals a number. One other thing that you might want to do at this stage is actually take that value, x equal to minus 6, plug it back into the original equation and make sure it satisfies the equation. And that's how you can check that you're right.